I guess what's your experience been like so far here in Nashville and, and how chomping, how much are you chomping at the bit to play uh, maybe as early as Sunday? You said my experience? Yeah, I guess just your overall experience here so far and then maybe uh, follow that up with just how much are you chomping at the bit to play? Oh, yeah, it's, it's been quite amazing, you know, just getting in here uh, with the guys, with the coaching staff and, you know, just being able to, you know, put faces with names and just getting uh, the ability to be able to, you know, get in sequence with uh, some of the guys, uh, get some uh, some reps and stuff on the field. And um, it's been cool. It's been a, it's a cool meeting room, with some uh, cool group of guys. And I'm excited about playing. I'm excited about my opportunity to make my debut. Um, you know, hopefully this weekend, I'm looking forward to it. But, you know, the coaches will make that decision. Now we just go from there. Can you move just a little bit closer so we can hear you a little bit better? Um, Teron? Yeah, Vic, with, with you coming here and, and getting an opportunity to work with a coach like Mike Vrabel, a guy who's, you know, known for, you know, getting the best out of his, his players, a guy who is known, whose teams are known for effort. How much do you feel that will benefit you and how much – did that have to do with your decision to, to come to the Titans? Uh, yeah, I've been excited, you know, getting, being able to get the opportunity to work with Braves. I feel like playing for a coach who has that deep, defensive perspective and, you know, a guy who actually played the same position that I did, you know, I feel like that can only benefit me in a number of ways because I feel like he understands, like, my mindset in a way because he's played the position before. He has plenty of experience in that in that area. So I'm excited. I'm excited to be able to actually step on the field, you know, just to take what I've learned from him and what I learned from the other guys and just go out there and execute it. Uh, we have to ask what, I mean, what happened? Why did you come to, to camp and then get placed on NFI instead of getting right in the mix and being able to work with the team? Yeah, I just had some things I had to work out. You know, it was a little disagreement here and there, but, you know, those things are behind us. And, um, you know, I moved on and, you know, just let bygones be bygones and, you know, just settle things and just let them be. Uh, Teresa? Uh, Vic, welcome to Tennessee. Uh, the, the injury that had you on the non-football injury list, was it something that happened uh, during this very unique offseason and uh, frustrated that it maybe took you as long as you needed to to, to, to work through that to pass the physical? Yeah, this, this is something that I've been dealing with, you know, kind of just um, kind of played a role in my career, you know, over the course of, you know, since I was in college. You know, I just try to monitor it and, you know, try to make the best of what I could uh, out of it. Um, and it's, it's just been something that I've had to deal with. And, you know, it's getting better since I've been here. The, the training staff has been amazing. I've been strongly encouraged to continue to, you know, stay in the training room and continue to work with those guys. And they've been nothing but good for me. Uh, Eric? Vic, when, when you did show up late, how were you welcomed by your teammates? Um, was there any awkwardness there at all? What what was the reception like when you finally arrived at camp? Uh, it was amazing. Um, the guys here, I feel like, you know, that it's a lot of humility amongst this team. You know, I feel like no guy on this team thinks they're better than the other individuals. So I feel like they just welcomed me with open arms. And I definitely appreciated that. And when you – come to a new team and they do welcome you with open arms and they just allow you to be yourself and allow you just to, you know, express yourself in, in, in the way you want to express yourself. It definitely helps you out as far as, you know, you know, well, becoming in a new environment. Uh, Buck? Yeah, Vic, with, with the disagreements that you mentioned, is that, was that between you and, and the team, or you and your representation? Could you be a little more specific on that? Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to go into too much detail on that. I feel like that's something that may be confidential between me and the other party. Um, it, what's understood is understood, and we we come to an agreement. And it's like it is what it is. We we settle our differences, and 
we're we're both understanding of the other situation. So it's all good. It's all smiles on both ends, and we're happy to work together. Thanks, uh, John. Yeah, Vic, um, just wanted to get your thoughts on, on where you stand, uh, you know, physically and, and, you know, I guess mentally, too. We were kind of behind the eight ball. Uh, where do you find where do you feel like you are in, in um, uh, both areas as you hope to get uh, ready for the debut? Uh, physically, um, I'm at the point where I feel like I can play. Um, so going forward, that, that decision is up to the training staff and whether they feel like I'm I'm able to go out there and perform uh, to be effective. You know, you can't just go out there and just uh, play. You got to actually be effective and, you know, make a difference. So I, I'm hoping that they'll be able to see that um, through my practice. I'll go out there and showcase what I can help this team with. Uh, mentally, I'm, I'm happy. Um, I'm, I'm good on the scheme of the, of the defense. I'm understanding of what they expect from me and, you know, I think I'm in a good place right now on both ends. Sure, and, and maybe just to follow, you know, when, when you're out there uh, and, you know, you're kind of at your best, what do you hope to add to this rotation? What do you, what do you think you can add to this rotation of uh, edge rushers? Just more versatility. You know, there's a number of guys amongst this defensive line, amongst this team that are just uh, so talented. And I think, you know, having me out there, I can definitely add more versatility and just more more volume to the defense. Thank you. Hey, Vic, welcome to Nashville. Um, with a new environment, a new team, and it sounds like from everything you've said, you really feel like you fit in here. You like the guys. Um, what are your expectations for yourself this season? And uh, does it give you kind of a, a, a new energy, newfound energy, um, just kind of in a new place? Oh, yeah. Every time you come to a, a, a new environment, you know, you want to have that uh, great first impression. You want to you know, just show the people that you're really, really into working with the team and want, want to be here, you know. Um, I'm excited, you know. I feel like this is an opportunity for me to, you know, put myself back in that category of one of the elite pass rushers. And I think this is a new start. It's a new start for me. And I'm more than excited about it. I know the coaches are excited about it. And the only way to find out what I can do, and that's my plan. Uh, Terry? Vic, what, what kind of role do you feel like you'll have at least early on in the defense? Do you think you'll be fairly limited, maybe the sub packages or things like that, or are you full go? Well, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm full go, but whatever they have scheme wise for me, I'm open. Um, it's it's really whatever for me because I'm I'm open to doing whatever it is is best for the team. But I know they understand my best asset, and I understand my best asset, and that's going to rushing the passer and I think they want to use me uh more in that in that emphasis uh Paul Nick how did you show people you wanted to be here by not being here for 10 days unexcused at the beginning when John and Mike showed faith in you by giving you 9.5 million dollars guaranteed didn't you make them look foolish no I think it's, it's you know you, any team nobody ever sees necessarily eye to eye, you know, people, even in the real world, they don't necessarily see eye to eye about certain things. They may have the same mission, and but they don't necessarily agree on the same things. And I think here we are all on the same mission, that's to win the Super Bowl, you know, coming to this new environment, may not saw eye to eye about uh, certain certain things, but now it's an understanding, under, it's an understanding of what is expected of me. And, you know, I had some areas that I worked on myself as a human being, and you know, I got that under control, and now we're on the uh, right path, and we're headed towards being the, one of the best teams in the, in the NFL. The number one attribute they look for in guys is that they love football. Do you love football? I love the game. I love playing the game. I know there's been a lot of question marks about whether or not I love playing, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't waste nobody's time if I didn't love playing the ball, like playing ball. Then, I, if I didn't love playing ball, I would tell the coaches go look for somebody else that may be better fit for the organization. But I'm not going to give nobody you no know, half-hearted effort. I want to give them the best of what I got. And that's by, you know, making sure I'm mentally prepared and physically prepared. Uh, last one, Tron. 
And that kind of leads me to exactly what I, I wanted to ask you in regards to what it is you love the game about the game and what it is, what is it that drives you to, to play the game with, with, with all our effort? What, what, what inspires you about football? You know, I, that's to, it's a lot of things that inspire different people amongst this league, you know, whether it's your family, whether it's the financial part of it, whether it's just being around guys who make you feel special, who make you feel yourself, who you can be yourself around. And for me, you know, everybody, you know, is ultimately wanting to get a big country and wanting to make a, a good financial living for their family or whatever it may be. Um, but in a nutshell, it's really just, you know, that making a, a living for my family. And secondly, you know, these guys, man, these guys are amazing. You create lifelong relationships here in this league, you know, and it's, it's something that you can't take for granted because this is a special time in my life, a special time in each and every NFL player's life and coaches uh, to develop relationships. And, you know, those things will definitely, you know, stick with you much longer than, than the game of football will as far as playing goes.